So the, this PowerPoint is really to focus on the conclusions part of your research project and the purpose is really to answer the research questions and to see if you've met the research objectives, to consider the findings, to present any contributions to the topic displayed in the literature and to reflect on any implications for the research, for future research. So really it's looking at all the information and linking everything back to your um, literature review, looking it back to the research questions and then linking it back to the research topic title itself. An ex at an example from a student who produced a, a research um, project at LCCA and the topic title was investigating how motivation affects student grades at LCCA research and uh, in the introduction uh, it, it said introduction in many ways the topic title motivation is highly relevant not least because it represents the center of gravity in the workplace which is in the heart of our nation's development and sustainability and then they go on to say the UK's higher education system cannot be complacent that needs to keep improving to remain a world leading sector so this is focusing on motivation with regards to education the students main research objectives uh, was to investigate the key motivators and demotivators among respondents and to establish whether there was a correlation existing between motivation and student grades at LCCA. In the student's literature review, he talks about Reeve 1993 and saying that motivation is something that gives behavior its energy and direction. Pinch and shrink, uh, on the other hand, take motivation to mean a process that involves goals physical and mental activity and is both you know instigated and sustained and then he talks and says that a study by Gooden now and Grady also found that if students believe that others at school are rooting for them and are on the side and willing to help them if necessary they have reason to believe that they have the resources necessary to be successful and really in the student's literature review he provides a critical evaluation of different authors views in terms of motivation in respect to education within the literature review um, you know he says covering the theme um, two which is the observation that students are unique in the way that they are motivated and when intrinsically motivated individuals are fully regulated engaged in the activities of interest experience a sense of a violation and function without the aid of the external rewards and or constraints so you know they go on to say that throughout the essay literature on motivation in the classroom unearthed a number of key fundamentals chief among them is the fact that motivation and education are inexcusably linked together so when the student comes towards their conclusions, you know, they mention, um, you know, uh, um, predominantly respondents gave a strong positive reaction to the experience of teaching at the college, suggesting this is held in high regards. Regard words and phrases highlighting uh, the response includes, I would hire more people like teacher X and, and someone like teacher that believes in you. And then they linked this back to comments from different authors in their literature review. Uh, and we see Edgerson uh, 1978 made mention to this phenomenon as stated in the literature review. So the findings that they found within their um, uh, data analysis from their primary research, which they undertook, then linked this back to their literature review. Likewise, um, we can see in the student's conclusions, he goes on and he says that, however, the first, you know, belongs to college administration and leaders as well. Their role is to provide the right tools and support to make achievement possible. From all indication, academic performance and motivation are closely linked. The data analysis confirmed with the coefficient of correlation that there was a 0.75 correlation between. And then 
therefore um, with the data analysis and with the students conclusions they've linked it back to the one of the objectives in terms of what they were trying to achieve uh, in terms of determining whether or not there was a, a positive negative or any correlation or link between student motivation and grades and then the student goes on within uh, the, the conclusions and says respondents voiced their opinions strongly against negative aspects of the college. They raised the issues of unavailability online resources and a lack of pastoral care among them. In other words, demotivation appears to have had the capacity to have the power to affect students' performance. And then again, you know, the student has linked this back to another one of their objectives, as stated above, to investigate the key motivators and demotivators amongst respondents and linking this back to the main objective in their research project. And then we can see throughout the students' conclusions, they've made links back to the literature review in terms of what different authors have said. They've made links back to their main objectives. And then here, the student goes on and says, this research indicates categorically the most profound way in which motivation impacts grades positively at LCCA and is through partnership. If students, teachers, administration, management work together closely as a unified whole, the sky is the limit. And so again, you know, if we think about the topic title, investigating how motivation affects student grades at LCCA research. So um, we can see that the student has made a big attempt to link everything back to their literature review to their uh, main objectives and to their topic title. And that's what you must do as well. You must link everything back to your different sections of your research. So everything is all integrated. Finally, you have your recommendations. And the student goes on to say, on a more urgent level, LCCA should consider carrying out a bigger survey on student motivation in the college. Preferably, the survey should be carried out over a period of time rather than just a one-off and use the mixed methods approach whereby both qualitative and quantitative data are captured. Additionally, student professional satisfaction surveys should be conducted as often as possible. So I hope that has helped and I hope that you will be able to link everything back to or from your secondary research findings uh, to your literature review, to the research objectives, and back to your topic title. Many thanks.